Because I remember my first hurricane here. And I was like, oh, hurricane warning. And I was like, hurricane what? I'm out. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like two months since I uploaded. Look, school excuses have kept me from doing this. But I'm here. So, please. Does relax. Today I'm gonna be doing a like college related video. It's gonna be tips for like, cause I know people are starting to make decisions about college and the college acceptances. They have to put down deposits to confirm that they're going there. And there's like a whole bunch of stuff like going on, right? And I'm gonna talk about my college experiences um, and just kind of give those some tips for going out of state for school. Um, so let's get into the video because I went to school out of state twice um, from Alaska um, for my undergrad I went to Eastern Washington University and then now I'm doing grad school so I'm in North Carolina right now so out of school out of state twice but it's there's a lot of things to consider when you're going out of state for school and there's a lot of things that I didn't really think about that I wish someone would have told me or at least to be like hey you might want to consider this this and that the third blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm saying college there's a lot you know college, college is fun it's fun um definitely don't like the school aspect of it oh kill me now but the social life you meet so many cool people like hella cool stuff like that um so first let's talk about making decisions to go to school especially if you're an out of state student like i said out of state student from alaska so no matter where i was gonna go out of state schools are expensive period like they're honestly disgusting it's out of, it's out of state expensive at most schools um so for me the reason why i wanted to go to school out of state i felt like alaska wasn't really going to do too much for me um for like i just needed to get out of there like i've been there my entire life so i was ready to like move like dip and a lot of people who did go to school out of state like before me who graduated before me they always ended up coming back so when i was making my decision to leave alaska i was not coming back and when i was coming back it was to visit say hey girl what you doing <laughs> hey girl looking good and peace out so i made sure i was like i'm not doing this so obviously there was a lot of resources for me to stay in alaska but i felt like i couldn't grow as a person like, to get the hell out of here bye well, some things to consider about uh, moving out of state at least for i can talk about the west coast per se so the west coast they have this thing called wooey it's the western western undergrad exchange program some shit like that and what they do is they have participating schools on the west coast where um their tuition is like almost the same as in-state it's a little bit more so like for me at eastern i just paid a thousand more than state students which was great at the same like it wasn't too expensive um which was really good um but the only thing was i could not claim to be a resident of washington if i wanted to i'd have to pay a whole year of out-of-state tuition and then turn around and then get that in-state tuition which i wasn't trying to do <laughs> which one i'm gonna get that money from yeah no but when i was looking at schools to go to like i said i was in alaska so i was trying to get the hell out of there so any fucking way that was gonna take me i was like hey what's up my dad only gave me two choices when it comes to this, like where I could go. He said either California or Washington because that's where I had relatives. Totally understand whatever. Ended up picking Washington. It was just a better choice for me. And then I found Eastern who did the Wooly exchange program, which was great. There was a lot of things I didn't consider about out of state. Um, like being from Alaska, when you're flying out of Alaska, it's so expensive like to fly anywhere period like i had to i never factored in the cost of plane tickets because i always went home all the time so like spring during spring breaks i went home um uh summer i went home and that's like i didn't think about the cost so if you're looking to go out of state for school i would definitely think about how often do you want to be coming home because i didn't think about that shit i was just like yeah washington cool mm, boop. and i didn't realize like oh i want to fly back every so often and sometimes i financially could not afford that and also in pertaining to flying think about airport distance to some people it might not be a big like a huge deal but like i said before like i like to fly home like all the time and so i only had 
for me, luckily in Washington, I, I had Spokane's airport, but it was a smaller airport, so that means it was more expensive. It was cheaper to fly out of Seattle, but that was four hours away, which, ugh, how the hell am I gonna get there? Yeah, no. Okay, now I live in North Carolina, so imagine how much plane tickets are for my family to come from Alaska to North Carolina. It's a billion dollars that I don't have. So um, definitely want to think about shit like that, because I was just like, after graduation, I was like, well, uh, where am I going to go? Yeah, North Carolina sounds great. Halfway across the country. Sure, why not? But I never factored like, oh, like graduation, how is family going to get here? All that stuff. So you definitely have to think about like what airport, like airport stuff, like how often you want to be flying, stuff like that. Car situation. Um, if you're going to have a car on campus, all that stuff. Um, I, during my undergrad, I never had a car. Um, it was just i feel like it wasn't deemed necessary granted i lived right across the street from the school so it wasn't really necessary for me to have a car in a sense plus my roommate had one so like we went everywhere together anyway so it was like whatever um and plus to ship a car from alaska or drive it like <laughs> i'm good how homesick you get in the beginning i wasn't too homesick like living in the dorms like in the first like first month i was like <laughs> i'm in college and then like once it started getting like near thanksgiving i was like i don't want to go home like i was like homesick and shit granted my sister lived in seattle so i would just go to my sister's house for like little holidays and stuff like that but you have to think about like do you get homesick so often you do get used to it you know decorate your room make it feel like it's home um that's kind of like what i'm what i did with my this one I like decorate it make it feel like at home you know what i'm saying because you gotta sleep here every night you know what i'm saying so like do you you know what i'm saying also want to find schools um when it comes to tuition like cheaper tuition um as cheap as possible unless if you having scholarships or financial aid because a uh, financial aid be playing all the time i had issues with financial aid because they, they they be stingy they thinking just because your parents make a certain amount that you can afford that's not the case on me they be like damn here's a dollar you know definitely consider the cost of it are you ready to take out a whole shit ton of loans how much you're going to be making back to be able to pay back those loans like kind of the way i deal with like homesickness homesickness um was you know meeting people like having friends like living in the dorms was really honestly even though it's like expensive most schools do require it but even if they didn't require it i would highly suggest living in the dorms for your first year but you meet so many cool people and it's cool to like have people on your floor and you just you know like you like you know you just, just hang out and stuff like that like it's cool you, that's how you meet people so i definitely recommend living in the dorms your first year especially if you're an out-of-state student that's like highly recommend i like join clubs so i like join bsu join a sorority being involved like it kind of it keeps you busy so you're not like dwelling like oh i want to go home i want to go home i want to go home now get like offers like tuition waivers so i would definitely look at that so like even though i haven't been here for that long to qualify for in-state tuition since i'm the only one that's out of state from my program they gave you your in-state tuition so I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? Um, so definitely look into that. Um, different ways to pay for your tuition. Scholarships, please, 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 please do scholarships. I know they're long and fucking annoying, but like they really help. Like my freshman year, I had five scholarships that helped me so much. So please, please do your scholarships. Do your scholarships. Do them scholarships. Do the, do the, do them scholarships. This is for my black girls, my black girls, or me. I mean, I guess it could pertain to anybody, but it's especially for black girls. Now, if you like me, you don't know how to do hair. I don't know how to do my own hair. Growing up, someone always did my shit for me. Like, someone always did my hair, so I never had to worry about, like, I was never like, oh, I should probably learn how to do my own hair because my mom could just pay someone to do it. Like, that was my logic. Moving to Spokane, Spokane area, there was, like, nobody to do my hair like nobody maybe there were a few people like towards the end like i found out who could do hair but like it was really rough trying to find someone to do my hair the way i like it so whenever like whenever i would get my hair done i would get it done while like i went home for breaks so on alaska i would get it done in alaska and then 
I would hold on to that shit for three months. Three months until I would get back to Alaska to do it again. Because I was like, I need like I can't be walking around my hair looking crazy. Um, so that or if I went to Seattle. So you definitely have to consider that. Who's gonna how like if there's places to do your hair. Um and that's something I didn't think. Ooh, weather. Oh my god. Yeah, weather. Another thing for out of state students. Look, I'm used to wearing hoodies. Like, I have a hell of winter clothes because Alaska snows, right? Granted, Washington, wardrobe wise, um, I wasn't, it wasn't that bad for me because I could still wear my same clothes because it snowed in, in Cheney too. Um, in the summer, it was hotter though, so I didn't have a lot of summer clothes. So, you got to consider that weather wise. And then when I moved to North Carolina, see, I wasn't really thinking when I moved to North Carolina. I was just like, yeah, duh that sounds cool um it's totally two different climates like completely like like i used to make fun of people in the south when they're like oh my god 50 degrees is so cold and i'm like no it's not no it's really real like, two whole ass different colds like it's cold down here when it's 50 degrees 40 degrees. i'm like Ugh. And, you're from alaska like how can you be cold don't ever disrespect me like that. I can't, anybody can get cold. Just because I'm from Alaska doesn't mean I can't get cold. So it's two different colds. So weather, that's something you really have to just, to, to think about. Plus they be having, they be having hurricanes and shit here. I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know nothing about this. And then being, I think, I mean, even if it, this might not even pertain to just being out of state. This could just be, if you know, even if you go to school in state or whatever, like, college doesn't feel like home but then you go home and it doesn't feel like home either like you'll be in this weird transition and it feels weird um and like you won't like you can't wait to get home for break but then you go home and it's weird and then your parents get on your nerves so you're like i'm out like so you can't wait so it's like a weird transition um i mean at some point you'll get used to it but honestly i could say Going to college was the best thing I could have done for myself. Granted, do pe are people successful without college? Yeah, but I feel like there's certain things I wouldn't have learned. I couldn't learn like not going to college. So I definitely recommend it. Um, you just get a, a whole bunch of um, knowledge, you know, and you make lasting relationships, networking, all this stuff, partying, and blah, blah, you know, we can do a separate video on that. Um, but I definitely recommend it. Granted, it's expensive. Yeah, absolutely. But I do not regret it whatsoever. Um, it's kind of cool being an out-of-state student because, like, you have your two different worlds. So, like, I would have my world, like, my friends in Alaska, and then I have my friends in Washington, and then now I have my friends in North Carolina. So, it's like, like I'm bouncing back to different worlds which is kind of cool um so you get a little break you know shake it up a little bit um but it's definitely not easy to be an out-of-state student especially being so far away from home all the crying the all-nighters the parties it's all worth it honestly like college is just a great experience like it was just undergrad is so fun um grad school that's a whole nother story that would that's pure hell but undergrad was totally fun cool um that shit will pass by so quick you're gonna be sitting at graduation and be like it's been four years yeah that goes quick hope you guys enjoyed this video there's just a few tips i can probably make a part two because i'm i'm sure i'm forgetting hella stuff but we'll see how this video goes and then we'll add to it. So I um, hope I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, oh, and another note. I saw that Rachel Dozo was having a, a Netflix special. Honey, you know, I'll be watching that and I will do a reaction video to that. Because when I saw the trailer, I was like, wow, this is going to be interesting. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I will definitely be doing that and put my two cents in it. And um, yeah, so like, subscribe, share this video, and thanks for watching.